and welcome to TTV News with some latest events in Tainan Province. And now, we come into details. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, the Province of Stanley People Council have a rest conference on November 27 to announce the agenda of its 19th meeting. Mr. Mai Van Hai has of the Province of People Council Economic Budget Board chair the press conference. Attending the press conference, there were also Mr. Nguyen Thanh Phong, Vice Chairman of Provincial People's Council, leaders representatives from the boards of Provincial People's Council and the press agencies in the area. Accordingly, the meeting is scheduled to be held in three days from December the 8th to December the 10th of 2020. The meeting will be broadcasted live in the opening sections, the question and answer sections, and the closing sections. At this meeting, the delegation of National Assembly of the Province reports on the result of the 10 sections of the 14th National Assembly meeting. Then the Provincial People's Council will consider about 17 draft resolutions, 7 reports of the People's Council and 14 reports of the Provincial People's Committee. Among the draft resolutions considered, there are two related to the land sector, the related to allocation and local budget revenue and expenditure estimates. The meeting will also consult on the list of projects under the medium-term public investment plan for the period of 2021 to 2025 with a local budget fund. Responding to reporter questions, Mr. Mai Van Hai added that this meeting is expected to question three rules of social concerns, including building solar power on agricultural land, the city plant, and the state budget plans to move to next year. Ladies and gentlemen, in the period of 2021 to 2025, the government will build about 340 demonstrating technical models, technology transferring, applying about 1,600 machines and equipment, and three advanced technological lines in industrial production handicrafts to support repairing and operating environmental pollution treatment system for about 50 rural industrial establishments, support to organize 15 domestic exhibition fairs, five exhibition fairs support, vocational training for about 10,000 workers according to the needs of rural industrial establishments associated with the requirements of the market. And these are the main objectives of the National Industrial Promotion Program, which is implemented by the Ministry of Industry and Trade under the Government Decision No. 1891. The program aims to create a new driving force to promote industrial production and craft to serve the economic structure toward industrialization and modernization, creating conditions for rural industrial establishments to assess digital economic development opportunities, improve productivity, quality competitiveness, effectively implement the roadmap for the international economic integration. In 2020, there are 10 newly established cooperatives in Staten Province, including five agricultural cooperatives, seven non-agricultural cooperatives. Accumulated to November 2020, the whole province has 139 cooperatives in operation. Among the whole cooperatives are operating in the province, there are about 68 effective cooperatives, about 64 cooperatives operating in the areas, and three cooperatives are weak. The rest are newly established cooperatives, so there is no assessment. By November 2020, the total working capital for the operatives reached about 7,500 million Vietnam dong, in which the charter capital reached over 230 billion Vietnam dong, with a total revenue of over 2,370 billion Vietnam dong. The average profits reach about 70 billion Vietnam dong, and the average income for each member is about 4.5 million per month. The people credit funds have promptly met the demand for capital for production and businesses, consumption, household economic development, farm economy contributing to joy creation, increasing the income and stabilizing the people's lives in the rural areas. Ladies and gentlemen, recently the People's Committee of Hoa Thanh Tau has just held an open meeting in November to evaluate the implementation of the Social Economic Development Task, National Defense and Social Security in 2020, as well as Direction and Task in 2021. In 2020, despite many difficulties and challenges, Hoa Thanh Social Economic Development continued to develop until now. The total production value of industry construction increases by 3.5%, agriculture and fishery increased by nearly 0.3%, and trade service rose about 0.19% over the same period. 
the progress of budget revenue insurance plan estimated to work revenue is more than 335 billion Vietnam dong and nearly 89% compared to the estimate aside, increase of more than 15% over the same period. In the terms of basic construction, the total capital source in 2020 is over 240 billion Vietnam dong for new construction and transition projects. So far, has dispersed more than 200 billion Vietnam dong. On two days of November 27 and 28, Hong Hung General Hospital cooperated with Charay Hospital to organize the program of SEP hemodialysis operation in 2020. The conference was attended by Director Nguyen Hữu Dũng, Chairman of Vietnam Dialysis Association, Head of the Department of Artificial Hemodialysis at Bat Mai Hospital, and Specialist in Hemodialysis at hospitals across the country. The program is sponsored by P. Bronze Vietnam Company Limited. Through the training section, about 160 trainees, nurses, and doctors from dialysis facilities in hospitals throughout the country will be enhanced their knowledge of safety in dialysis in general, the treatment for water of hemodialysis in particular to serve the professional work better and better, to ensure the safety for patients during the hemodialysis. In the two days of meeting, the participants will be shared by experts about some issues such as optimizing hemoglobin control in hemodialysis patients, operating models and infection control technology in the dialysis unit, online hemodialfiltration, HDF technology, proper nutritional supplement for patients with hemodialysis, and management of hemodialysis complications. At the same time, the representatives have visited the operation process of the Germany Trio Lower Water Treatment System which meets the leading European standards at Hong Kong Hospital. Also at the conference, the doctor of hospital throughout the country and expert from People Vietnam Company Limited also say experiences in operating and handling their hemodialysis system. Ladies and gentlemen, OCOB Markets, One Commute, One Product Program, Vietnamese Goods to the Countryside Markets, or annual promotion campaigns of Frau of Vietnamese Goods have become familiar meeting place for both clean families and consumers, because this is one of the expressions providing food agricultural clean standard products with warranty from the authorities. Besides modern distribution standards, such as supermarkets, shopping malls, and convenience stores are becoming the demand and keys to remove the consumption of agricultural products. According to the Trade Promotion Center, Thailand Department of Industry and Trade on product display at the fairs organic agricultural products, agricultural products supply in high technology, chef agricultural products, regional specialities of Thailand province and neighbor provinces as well as city, quality insurance origin. The stone and products participating in the fair must go through the rigorous inspection as well as meet the standards and regulations from quality to packaging designs. The units, businesses, and suppliers participating in the annual fairs must go through registration and selection from the local department of industry and trade, so there is absolutely guaranteed from the prestige and quality. Each time the fair takes place, it attracts thousands of visitors and consumers to attend. The number of units, manufacturers, and suppliers registered to participate in each fair period is greater than the previous year. Specifically, in 2020, there are more than 1,000 registered stone compared to the number of premises at the organizing committee for the fair's market prepared. Besides, the modern distribution channels such as supermarkets, shopping malls, and convenience stores are becoming the demand and the key to boost consumption for local agricultural products. The participation in distribution system is also what many businesses producing clean agriculture, clean food are very easier for. However, according to representatives of some supermarkets and retail stores in the province, most agricultural products under consume in the modern retail system still encounter some barriers such as the quality is not uniform, sometimes the quality are highly appreciated, but the designs and design are not as catching. Besides, many agricultural products are harvest according to season, so the supply is not stable, not meeting the standards and requirements on packaging, labeling and delivery schedules. And therefore, to open more local agricultural store supermarkets need to organize many meetings and free on standards, quality, product design, product with the production units. And by doing this, new products can meet the tastes and needs of consumers. 
Through trade promotion activities, production and supply enterprises also have access to many useful information sources related to the needs of consumers, standards, regulation of purchasing needs from distributors. Besides, they also have access to agricultural materials companies, learn from experiences about advanced farming techniques, modern technology which are sustainable to agricultural development solutions, and friendly protective environment. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for TTV News today. Thank you for joining with us and see you next time.